And good afternoon, hockey fans. We're in Hibbing, Minnesota, as the Warlord uh, Venom A's will be facing off against the Venom A's from Hibbing. Hibbing will be the home team, of course, in the white jerseys. Warlord will be in the dark blue. So this is a Friday afternoon start. And we're ready to watch hockey. So let's play hockey. inside of an in enclosed area so we don't hear much of the action on the ice. Shot on net for Warlord. I don't know if they keep track on the scoreboard. Do keep track at home. Jack is in the net for Warlord. There. Jack kept it out. This was a puck uh, when I've been hit the uh, rafters. So a low ceiling here, high enough for uh, hockey though. Well lit.
shot was over the net. And a penalty coming up against uh, Hibbing. Tipping call comes uh, 12 or 1 left in this uh, first 17 minute period. So what it is on a two minute power plate. Chance for the Royal, but the goaltender uh, has the puck. Three seconds left in the power play for Warroad. He didn't eat much. Um, we just had took him over his seat. Just because I didn't want to feed him too heavy off before the game. Give him his back at full strength. Buck is uh, knocked up in a netting in behind the, the goal.
it's for him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wider than that. Laid off sides for Warlord and get back on sides. And a goal! So I think number nine for Warlord uh, got the goal. Goal coming with 8.02 uh, left to go in this first period. That makes it one nothing war up. Hit the side of the net, the bar on the boat on the, on the, on the ice. <laughs> And for Warlord. And a goal. Long shot and the rebound was picked up. Number eight for Warlord. Makes it 2 nothing. Uh, with 7.26 left to go in this first period. And a save. Shot gets in on that, and Jack is there with the save. The two grandparents. Yeah, so now everything is just the way it was. I don't think it happened. Now, whose house was it? The grandparents. It was the grandparents. That's what I thought. Yeah, it was a space heater that. Yeah, it was a space heater in their back porch. Because the ground wanted it to be warm anymore. So it's a space heater. They fall over anything. Shot on that and the same. Yeah, they, they don't. The ground yeah, here is. Yeah. They're almost positive that. Because the kids said what was so bad is it was all coming through. So the fire spread up to the wall and into the ceiling. Yeah. So it wasn't like regular fire. So it's the ceiling that collapsed. Oh, hi. Yeah, and they died from smoke. They didn't die from smoke. I suppose you want something. Yeah, they found the Jacob, the kid that, the one kid, he was like... The, the puck goes out of play on the far end. Yeah, found the actually went back in. He was... Yeah. Oh, okay, come on. There. No. Oh! Chance for Royal, then the uh, goaltender kept it out of there.
tip to the side by the goaltender. And a goal. Week number two. So it makes it three nothing uh, with 4.41 left to go in this uh, first 17 minute period. Off the face off, the shot went in on net. net and I went through the crease no one could get a stick on it Hibbing's offside brings the puck just outside of the outside of the Warrior zone. is called on him. Thank you. 
we're down the uh, end of the last minute. right on that, right at the buzzer. So Jack gives the puck up and we'll have a, just a short break and we'll be right back. So don't go away. Exciting phantom hockey. So we get a quick shot at the scoreboard just before the like it period ends, Boyd uh, with a three nothing lead. So we switched uh, ends of the ice. And we're into our second period. Try the face Where? off once again. I know. With mommy. With mom. I need juice. I need juice. Do you want Sissy to go get you some juice? Shot on that one. Jack with a save. Daddy, you gotta come with Sissy. Good shot. Shot on that for Warlord. You want to stay up here or go Shot uh, right on. Mm -hmm. 
icing was called on him. Face off going back to the hipping zone. Jack. Come loose. 12 12, the time remaining in this uh, second period. No scoring in this second period. That one just wide as the net. That one went through traffic just wide as the net. Icing will be called on him. He's off going back to the hipping zone. And the shot, uh, glove save. Could have been high, but the goalie does not know that. Good shot, good hard save. Icing was a call against Warroad. Shot on that, and a save. Another shot.
Shot in towards net. Another one then that's covered up by the goaltender. 9.06 left in the second period. 3 nothing for road. No scoring in this period so far. Dan must not be here. I would have heard by now. Dale must not be here either. I can usually hear him. Come on, come on, come on, get it in. I could hear the pad, but it's a puck hit it. Puck went out of play, so they bring in a new puck. So the face off comes at, at center ice. That one was uh, we tipped up into the netting. <laughs> Shot was in on that. The chance for Warlord. Giving with a chance there. Six minutes left in this uh, second period. No scoring in the second period. Still three uh, nothing uh, quartered. John on that and a save. Thank you. 
Det är fjärde mer än att se. Shot was uh, wide of the net. Yes. And I think it's called on more on. Puck was sitting right in front of Jack. Shot went through the crease. Backhand shot on net, on the same. Save. And we've got a penalty coming up on hitting. So hooking call on hitting, which we're out on the power play. It's coming with 2.21 left to go in this second period. Three nothing uh, warlord. No scoring in the second period. The shot uh, was tipped up into the Raptors. And we've got a whistle <coughs> on all sides. 124 left in the power play for a warrior.
Okay, and a good save. The net was knocked loose. Had a goal, a short-handed goal for Hibbing. They still had 39 seconds left on their uh, penalty. So 59.1 uh, seconds left in this second period. Hibbing goes on the board. Trailing three to one. Shot tipped wide. Rowan, come here, Rowan. Puck goes out of play once again. Three seconds left in the aiming penalty. And aiming back at full strength. Shot on net and Jack with a save. Eleven point two seconds left in this second period. And that's a horn sounding the end of the second period. So we'll uh, move off the ice and uh, we'll be back in just a moment. So after uh, two periods, it's three to one. Boiling. So don't go away. A lot more exciting Bantam hockey from Hibbing. Oh, well, welcome back. Uh, we're we're uh, in Hibbing. Into the third period. Nicing this call on hibbing. Yeah. 
Is it? Oh, I, I, I thought I was just sitting there. You just happened to sit by it. Okay. Oh, he does? Oh, that's awesome. That's really cool, actually. Because we're like, kind of like scary about something that. Uh huh. Apparently, I'm scary. Scary? Oh. Oh. Do you want this? Long jump was right on that. Um. <laughs> this equipment was in uh, the trunk of my car, and I was in Duluth. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Yeah. That was good. I got a frantic phone right call. I was at Starbucks with Van Bell and uh yeah. but they can all so, go in. He got his home and he's better, but me and the boys were gonna go up there after I was done with work. So after Dom was done with practice yesterday, I zoomed over here, grabbed him and said, sit at snap until I'm done at five thirty. And uh, well, that, uh then we'll go up to the hospital. So we went up to the hospital. The rebound was just laying there. We left it until at 7, and then Dominic rode home with Riley, because Riley came up there in his own car. And he said, I'm going to ride home with Riley. Well, by the time we got home, like, coffee practice was just shot in our heads, you know? And the whistle went icing his call on. I said, Do you need your skates today? And I dropped him off at school. and just totally blanked the whole thing out and then I, after my appointment, I, Annabelle said, do you want to go have coffee? I said, yeah, that's great, you know, I don't have to be back until I'm five or so, you know, whatever, because a little late wasn't a big deal. Oh yeah, huge deal. <laughs> so I was actually good about it. If it had been Riley, Riley would have been so mad at me, like saying it was all my well, fault. Well, was a like, chance. Don was like, no, that's my stuff. I was supposed to remember it. Yeah, he was texting me about it. He said, how close are you? Are you closer to me? Uh, what through the crease? Like, I can only go so fast, you know? Like, I am going almost eight at this point. I don't go across it any harder. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Apparently, there's one of us in every group. I don't know. Every game, somebody seems to We've have We've got a penalty. I don't know. <laughs> On Warriors number 12. The cross checking uh, was 1309 left in this third period. 3 1, Warriors. So Hibbing is on the power play. Yeah, then I was getting like group texts from the moms or whatever, and somebody was saying Eric was sick, and I knew Mandy had told me that Michael had been sick. I'm like, oh great, here we are down, kids. But I'd see Michael's playing, but I didn't know for sure if he was. You're not convinced? <laughs> What's he been sick with? It's a pipe. Oh, he got Tamiflu? Okay. Oh, yeah. But on that, in a safe. And a penalty on Hibbing. A roughing penalty, so uh, Warren has 38 seconds left on their penalty. 11.41 the time 
of this second penalty. Puck was deflected up uh, into the screen. Four is early. Oh, yeah. So another penalty coming up. Tripping call on number 19 for Royal. So uh, Royal will have uh, one two minute penalty, 15 seconds remaining on the first penalty. 137 left on uh, the Hemming penalty. Score is uh, still 3 1, Warroad. The third, all this in the third period. Warroad with a good chance there. So we're skating four on three. That was uh, up over the net. Boyard has one player back. So it's four on four. A shot and a save. 105 left on the Hibbing penalty. 128 left on the Warrior penalty. With 10.52 left in this third period. Day for Jack. That shot was just wide, but uh, Jack covers up. Still four on four. Tied up uh, along this edge of the net. Giving <laughs> it back at full strength. Icing his call on Boyle with seven seconds left in their penalty. Nine thirty-one left to go in this third period. Boyle leading it three-one.
zgodzę. Shot on yeah. I think it was wide. And the puck goes out of play. Six fifty six left to go in this uh, third period. So you feel three one world. And a shot and a goal. Number 18 with the goal. So it makes it 4-1 Warroad with 5.56 left to go in this third period. Shot on net, Jack will save. That player uh, hit with a with a shot with the puck. So hopefully he'll be uh, up again. He's up, uh, I think he got hit with in the hand, what it looked like. So the face-off comes back to the hitting zone with 4.51 left in this third period. It's 4-1, war on. Yeah. 
So they're not prohibiting. I want to say on the plus goes over the board so it's together. 413 left in this third period. Shot and save. And the rebound came out and uh, number 16 was right here to put it away. So with 353 left to go in this uh, third period, it's 5 1 Royal. It beats faster and then the blood can't get out, out of there and then it pulls, and so he's just like, all oh, cool, but that's not what he's having. Finally, Mark went over there and listened to his heart and was like, oh, 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 so then, uh, An easy save. they have to put you up in ICU because of the medicine that they give to, right, to get it back regulated. Right they can all be hard to get up there, I guess. So, yeah, he spent two days, two nights, whatever. Now he's went home like on blood thinners and stuff. I, to me, they don't ask enough questions, though. I think they just, Mark knows everything, so yeah. whatever, you know. But I'm like, well, why did it do this? Like, don't you want to know why? Like, what caused it to go into A-Fib? And Betty and Bunnell are just like, meh. Okay, whatever. And the goal, we didn't see who it was. I believe it number nine. So I don't know. Makes it 6-1. Is there a contempt? Warlord. My grandma, my mom's mom, just had a stroke on Saturday. 313 so left to go in this. St. Mary's third hospital. period. But I mean, I ask all kinds of Like, I want to know everything, you know? So I wasn't used to yesterday when I got up there and nobody seemed to know anything. <laughs> I think Mark always just kind of tries to keep everybody, you know, like calm or something. But he doesn't say too much. <laughs> Got one wide as a net. Wide. Atrial. Atrial So, what is War World's whole, whole program up here this weekend, or what? I don't know. High school is up here in the band That's okay. So, all these guys will get to go watch the high school play? No, we have another piece tomorrow morning in Superior. Oh, okay. So what are you doing? Do you drive to the boy One thirty-four left to go in this yeah. third period. What time is the game? Six one. Oh yeah, that's early. Right. <laughs> that's a lot of traveling for these boys today. Are you kidding? Wow. They live hockey up there. Yeah, I think so. My bed is with a One minute left in this third period. One minute. Thank you. 
and a big chance for uh, Hibbing, and they got it passed. So with 26.5 seconds left, uh, Hibbing uh, <laughs> makes it 6-2. So these guys, uh, no matter how far behind they are, they don't ever give up. A lot of effort goes into these hockey games. Goal every six seconds in? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be fun. The outside brought the puck outside of one of Joel. Ish. And that's the horn sounding the end of the this one. It is, yeah. What time you got to So end is up with Warlord 6 and Hibbing 2. But you, good effort on both sides. <laughs> so the teams will all uh, shake hands, and maybe they'll meet again once yet this year. So for Sugar Cane Video, we could say good night. From Hibbing. Minnesota.